Squirrels give them hell. Never mess with a you chipmunk's know? nuts. I bet the uh, red squirrels would give them hell. Yeah. Hey, Lucky. Come here. Come here. Oh. I don't say there's red squirrels up here. I haven't seen one yet. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Never Mess with a Chipmunk's Nuts episode of... Yeah, yeah. We went for a drive, and our boy is right here! Boy, did we find the lumpy, bumpy roads. God. Uh, okay, we went... Do you remember the name of the pond? That They call it a pond. It's a lake. I don't know. Anyway, so we go down. It's about two miles south of here, so you can look it up. Um... You go on South Street or something like that, out of Troy going south, good name for the street. You eventually wound up in Rhododendron Park, State Park. Uh, and you go... I didn't see one Rhododendron in there. Isn't that interesting, though? Um, so we get down there, and the road going by the what they call a pond, what we call a lake, because it's a lake, uh, it's dark. And you have to go about 20 miles an hour. Yeah, and it's narrow. And it only gets narrower. Yeah. It gets worse instead of better. Yeah. And then we uh, turn on to who knows what the next street's called. Yeah. <laughs> and that's also a dirt road. And, and it's what they call a summer highway. And there, on the, the second dirt road, there's a strip about five feet that's paved. And, yeah, we saw some places that would be interesting to look at. Uh, and I finally found this. I put it on the, the butt of my R rifle. I had it on there before, but I took it off. Well, you take everything off, seems like. Yeah. And, um, anyway, so... They have proper. They, what was that one place? Ten acres plus or minus. Yeah. But the ground is really low and wet uh, it'd out there. Be like swampy as hell. Yeah. It'd be like by the land in Louisiana. That's Except cold. Yeah, that's probably why they have ten acres for sale. Because most places up here, you don't can't even find that much land. Usually, it's what, maybe less than an acre or a little over an acre. I doubt if you could even build a house on it. So. Mushy looking. Yeah. And then we'd have to do a lot of work to improve it. You'd have to get a, a backhoe bulldozer or backhoe. Drain the damn thing. Yeah. <laughs> Fill it in with earth and. And then on the. Okay, so we go, we take that circle around, come out, go into King, and we got one of our daughters a book or two. And then we come back, and all the way from King, the sky is like a foot off the tail. I'm like, come on. And, and then I, I, we get in, in, in Troy, and it's like, you still have to slow down. It goes from 35 to 30, then it goes to 15. And he's like, right there. I'm like, come on. One of the mass holes. Yeah, I mean, that's what the people from Massachusetts do. Oh, hey, what, were, what was the name of the store, the grocery store? Um, I don't remember. Uh, anyway, we call it the bookstore. Oh, Hannaford. Hannaford. There's these two guys going into the store, and as I drive by, I say, Hey, man, we're going to be by 11 o'clock. we got two kegs. Said, Who are you? And I don't remember what name. Robert. I, Robert. I told him I was Robert. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do that to people. And there was this this girl, young lady. Uh, she was smoking a cigarette, and I said, "You have to have a license to smoke cigarettes in Keene." I think she just kind of looked at me like, oh, "Whatever." Um, I tried. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, they have a lot. Oh, they have the show about chipmunks. They are so cute. There, this one chipmunk goes into another chipmunk's hole and starts eating his nuts. Stash. Yeah, and the other chipmunk says, "I got you." And now they're fighting. Ooh, they really fight too. Yeah, they're a big danger to each other. Yeah. Ooh, they. Teeth are what half an inch long. Yeah. But they are the cutest little things. You have to see them. They look almost like miniature squirrels. Very they have miniature. Their stripes. 
Yeah, and their their tails are not very fluffy. They're they're stale tails like a stub. Yeah. Keeping your stash safe from thieves is a problem for most of America's Oh, and, and there is this place they're doing uh, forestry work on that summer only. Yeah, and what they're doing is, did I say 30 feet, was it? Back from the road. Yeah, from the road, 30 feet in, they're they're cutting certain trees, they're leaving... Thinning it. Yeah, they're thinning it, leaving certain trees, cutting certain trees, and, and cutting it so the sun can get down in there. But let me tell you that It's like you're doing preservation, uh, trying to preserve the forest. Yeah. Unconscious. He's this this woodpecker is putting a nut in a in hole, like hammering it into a tree. Uh oh, squirrel found it. With his beak. It's just too tempting. Yep. The squirrel was yeah, from a distance watching him. Uh oh. Yeah, that's gonna be bad. Here comes the woodpecker after the squirrel. <laughs> oh, right from behind. Oh, he's gonna hurt. Ooh. Yeah, he's getting that squirrel. He's not gonna teach you to steal my nuts. Uh oh, he's still after his nuts. And again, and again. And Lefty, what would you say about, uh... You better hope that bird doesn't peck on his eyes. Yeah. Yes. That's about like a blue jay will do a cat when they're defending their nest. And they are big birds and they are mean. When they're just defending their territory, you better get away from them. No, Lefty, let me... They'll even attack a person if you get too close to their nest. That's pretty bad. Yeah. So, we need to get lucky ground, yeah. I mean, we need to, like, get, get everything him, done. Yeah, professionally done and get his shots. and. But, you know... You Take him to the veterinarian. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you heard me, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. He's looking at me like, uh-uh. <laughs> He's like, you ain't taking me there. Now they're showing salmon. We have salmon up here, folks, but I have never caught a salmon. I've never come close to catching a salmon. I think they're a river fish. Exhausted. We also have trout. I love to catch a trout. Yeah, but don't you have to have a special license and everything to you know, like catch I'm gonna them? Like a hundred dollar license? believe the salmon are supernatural, sacred, and Well, people, I don't know. I guess this video's over with. Uh, well, there's a coyote catching him a salmon. Oh. Is that a coyote or a wolf? I don't know. Dropped in the forest, they fertilized the towering trees, making them some of the biggest in the world. Ooh, crow. Galls. On the Chilkat River, competition for the salmon carcasses is... Uh, anyway, folks, bye.